So you might be wondering how you can go ahead and use the navigation within your Apple Watch to actually take you somewhere. Now, you will probably have to have a cell signal of some sort, so if you have your iPhone with you, you'll be fine. But if you don't have the LTE model, you may want to do this before you leave somewhere, because if you don't, well, then you might not be able to do it. So just keep that in mind. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go and click on your digital crown on the side of your Apple Watch to go and get into your menu. And you want to go ahead and find your Apple Maps icon. So it pretty much looks something like this right here. So it's like that little navigation icon. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and then open up your specific, you know, maps icon. Now when you come here, you'll be able to actually go ahead and specify exactly where you want to go. So under search, what you want to do and what you can do is you can go ahead and tell them exactly where you want to go. So if you want to type in an address or you want to go and type in a business, in this case, I'll be using Best Buy, or if you want to type in Walmart, whatever the case is, all you want to do is go ahead and tap exactly where you want to go. And that's basically going to go ahead and be how you start here. So go ahead and type in wherever you want to do. In this case, I just use Best Buy. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Best Buy right here, and you'll be able to actually find exactly which place you want to go. So in this case, I chose Best Buy, then you can specify exactly where you want to go, you know, which Best Buy you want to go to. And then it'll show you a few different options in which you have. So you can go and drive there, you can take a bus, you can walk there or cycle there. So you have a few different options. So now when you go ahead and choose which option you want, you can go and click on that, you know, let's say driving or whatever the option is, it's then going to take its time to actually load up exactly what the process is going to be. So then it's going to give you a suggested route. So in this is case, it's going to take me nine hours or whatever the case is, it's going to be an, give me an ETA. So now all I have to do is basically click on the specific suggested route if this one looks good or the other one. So then what I can do is just click on that route and that is pretty much all you're going to have to do. So in this case, it's going to give me all the instructions that I can go ahead and use. And at some point, it's going to go ahead and bring me exactly to my destination. And it's going to be in real time. As I take my turns and everything, it's going to show me everything. And that's basically how you do it. If you're done, you can just click the X mark. And that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.